Okay, today I'm going to be playing Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I thought I'd try a different game, and I was trying to think of what game I was going to play, and I thought Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So I could play the main missions, which I have done, most of them at least, but I'm actually going to play in the sandbox. Now, if you haven't seen this re latest update, there is now different like sections. Sorry, let me turn this. Let me turn the game volume down a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, this game basically is a derpy simulator. Derpy simulator. No, it's like it's basically like a battle simulator, but it's super derpy and really funny and pretty fun to watch as well. Okay. So, our we're gonna be doing uh each thing each like areas against each other so first we're gonna do on this episode at least this is only gonna be like 10 minutes long we're gonna do vikings versus crusaders next we'll do greece versus asia and then napoleon we're not gonna do it because it only has three units so yeah and all the rest have quite a bit of units i mean greece doesn't have that many but still okay so first vikings versus crusaders first i'm just gonna check out the like individual troops against each other and like see if i can match up the money lord so this this, this headbutter guy is 30 crusaders there's a thief so i'm gonna match the headbutter against the thief and i'm gonna do two rounds of this and let's do this okay okay looks like the oh oh okay let's get into this so Sorry, I keep on zooming down. I need to see what's actually happening. So it looks like, oh, he's just like steamrolling. Okay, well that's one for the Crusaders. Okay, so I'm gonna clear both sides. And the next unit is 50, but the next Viking is 60. So I'm gonna have to do this up to 300, make this even. And then for the Crusaders, I'll do um, if my calculations are correct, six footmen. There we go. Okay, let's start this battle now. Five versus six. Okay. Oh, the Crusaders are just sweeping over their shield, and they just got taken out by the Crusaders. So let's play that one more time to make sure nothing went bad. Yeah, they just kind of, like, slam into them with their swords and destroy them. Okay, so that's another one for the Crusaders team. Next unit is the Spear Thrower, so I'm going to use the range guys. So I'm just going to put down like, I don't know, 350 of those guys. Worth of those guys. Okay, and the range unit for this is Archers. So, let's do this. Uh, let's see, is this even? Okay, that's about even. Uh, it's one more for the archers, but it probably won't make a huge difference. Uh, I keep on doing that. Sorry, I'm kind of unused to the controls. Okay, it looks like all the spear throwers missed their shots and got nailed. Yeah. I'm going to put them a little closer and see what happens. So, clear this side. Oh, why is it doing that? Okay. Sorry. Okay, let's put in some more Viking spear th Or, let's put in the same amount, but just put them a little closer. So, this is a little more fair. Because they are a little closer of a unit. Okay, there we go. Start this. Okay, let's do this. See what happens? Okay, they still get taken out, but they do actually hit their shots. It looks like the archers are just really uh, powerful, though, so we just kind of took them out. The spearmen only got off one shot, even though they were pretty close. So we're going to give that one to the crusaders again. And the last one, the crusaders don't really have a team like this, so um, I'm going to just put in as many footmen as this takes. So one, two, three, four. Okay, let's start that. Okay, looks like, I know this axe guy, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay, so it looks like he took someone out. Yeah, he launches himself like that. Oh, what just happened? That was really weird and derpy. Oh, and that red guy just sliced him open. Okay, let's start this again to see, get the same result. I think, oh, no, the Vikings are just no match. Okay, well, so the Vi the Vikings lost to the Crusaders in terms of individual units. But let's see how they do in a huge battle. So 
come up, put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten head butters, and then ten thieves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's ten thieves versus. Uh, I accidentally compacted the thieves a little more, so let's try and do that with the head butters. This might make them more effective. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, there we go. That's good. Okay, and then we're going to put, uh, I don't know. Just put a row of Vikings in the back, and then a row of Crusaders here. Oh, I need some more Crusaders there. Go, okay. So, now I'm going to put in some Archers on the Crusader side. Just a row of Archers. And then on the Viking side, I'm going to put in a row of Spearthers. Let's just start with that, and then we'll go to a little bigger battle after. So, the Crusaders won the first round 4-0. to zero. But what I'm going to do is, each big battle counts as two points, so the Vikings could still have a chance at this. Okay, let's start this up. Okay, looks like, oh, those, those Vikings all broke through the uh, enemy lines, and now the spear throwers are kind of clo closing in on the last of red troops. And it looks like the blue guys are slowly breaking into the red archer troops, and the red archers are getting thrown at from the spears. Oh, sorry. Ah! What the? Okay, sorry. I'm pretty sure this is inverted when it for, when you first press it. So, yeah, it looks like these spearmen are closing around the last archer, and they they all missed. Okay, there we go. They hit him right in the back. Okay, so let's do a little bigger battle with the axemen. I'm gonna do three axemen, or actually four axemen, and that amounts to about. I'm gonna put them kind of around. Uh, that amounts to about. Maybe that. Actually, no. Sorry. It's probably like that many Crusaders. I'm not going to count just for the sake of the video. Or actually, let's try and even these monies out. These monies. The money out. Okay, there we go. It's even now. So let's see what happens. Okay, again, the Vikings kind of broke through, but this time the Knights stopped them. So it looks like these. Oh, no. They're, the Barbarians are being overtaken quite quickly. But can the Warlord Axe guys complete the job. Oh no. Oh no. It looks like they're kind of the only ones left, but they are doing a good job. I think they do a lot better in a group. It's just the only problem is sometimes they get stuck on it. Oh, he just like body slammed him. I'm not sure if you saw that. Oh jeez. Ah, why? Why does it always do that? Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna win. It's one guy left, but he is doing a pretty pro-skilled job. And this, this guy's just, he, oh, okay. Red victory. One sec. Sorry. Okay, let's try that one more time, and uh, let's remove the headbutters and the thieves. So let's just do a ton of. So for the Viking side, I'm just gonna do it, and let's remove the archers and stuff as well. And if the Vikings win this, I'm gonna call it a tie. But um, and then we'll do like one final battle. But if they don't win this, then they lose. Well, that's kind of obvious. And then just a row of these guys back here. And then for the Crusaders, oops, sorry. For the Crusaders, we're just going to do some footmen kind of scattered around. In fact, this is probably the opposite of how it would be. The Vikings would be all like uncategorized or unorganized and stuff. And then the Crusaders would be all in like a formation. But who really cares? Not me. And then I'm also going to put in, just to even this out, one thief. Okay, let's start this up start this totally accurate simulator. Okay, it looks like when the Crusaders are a little more spread out that these Vikings do hold off a little longer against them. But it's still... Okay, one of the Axemen just glitched. Yeah, it looks like the Axemen are being taken down and there's still a ton of Crusaders. This is not looking good. Yeah, I don't know what it is with the Crusaders, but they just don't, like, they, they overpower the Vikings by a lot. Um, so this is going to be... I'm going to release two parts on the same day. This is going to be part one, and I guess it looks like the blue guys are getting defeated. 
So I'm going to end this video off here. And then my next video is going to be the Asians versus the Greeks. I'll see you then.